it's a man that loves, actively loves, but a woman who shows her appreciation, shows her love, yields to that, yields to her man's strength. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, I have a question on appreciation. Should I expect appreciation from my wife for all I do? I give it willingly to my kids without any expectation of return. Does the same apply to my wife? What are your thoughts? So, you know, the first thing that comes to my mind is that it's, it's always tough when we set ourselves up with expectations for people. Whenever we have expectations, we're basically setting ourselves up to be let down. But it's hard not to have expectations, especially in a, in a relationship where you're, you're providing, you're, you're doing the best that you can. And to simply hear a thank you is music to one's ear. And although I never really expected it, I'm very grateful for the fact that my wife says thank you all the time all the time she and i will say thank you to each other i thank her for every meal she puts on the, on the on in, on the table in front of me i'm saying thank you all the time and she does the same thing she says thank you all the time thank you thank you is such a powerful phrase that can transform someone's life i think that in your situation if you mirror that appreciation, maybe she'll reflect it back to you. Maybe even if you bring it up as a conversation that, hey, uh, I like when you say thank you or notice when she says thank you. Notice that if she does say thank you, notice when she does appreciate and say to her, you know, I really like when you appreciate me like that. I really like when you say thank you to me. Um, one of the ways my wife is, she you know, love languages are, are different. You know, the five love languages, uh, is a good book. Chapman is the name of the author, five love languages. And me and my wife have different love languages, right? As, as many couples do. And, uh, one of my love languages is touch, right? And I guess that is for a lot of guys, but I just can't keep my hands off my wife. And she doesn't really like touch me back, you know, like it's just not in her nature. She, she'll, do all kinds of nice things for me because she is a uh, her her love language is uh acts of kindness so she'll do things to show her appreciation or to deliver kindness but she won't like just rub my back or touch just touch me right um but a couple of weeks ago she was she touched me right i was doing something and she came back she and she was rubbing my back and and hugged me from behind and i was like hmm that's really nice you know, I like when you touch me. <laughs> you don't do it very often, but when you do it, I really like it. Guess what I notice? She touches me more often now, right? Because I said that, because I told her, I like when you do that. Maybe the same thing with your wife. Uh, I think a part of the reason why Colleen says she appreciates me so much because I probably told her that I like when you show your appreciation. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure at some time very early on in our relationship, she was showing appreciation and I showed appreciation for that appreciation. Like, Hey, I like when you show appreciation. Sometimes we can't have these, we walk around with like these covert contracts, right? Like we believe people should, and women do this a lot, but guys will do it too. We believe people should just know what we want, right? We, they should just know how we want to be loved. But sometimes we got to tell people how we want to be loved, right? Your wife might think that she's showing you appreciation because she like, for example, my wife, she shows her appreciation by doing things like doing the laundry, keeping the house clean, running the errands. Right. She's very active. She's very industrious, a very industrious woman. So that's how she does her her part. And I thank her for that. And then when I do my part, I do my part. She thanks me. She thanks me when we pay the bills. Right. She thanks me. Last night we had a, a rough one with one of our daughters who was talking back and I had to show her my crazy side and my wife afterwards she was like wow like she appreciated it she said thank you for speaking up for me right because my daughter was getting ready to walk all over her and i was like whoa mm -mm. we ain't gonna have that right and so i was able to deliver that i was able to deliver my my grit and my strength and my boundaries as a father 
And, uh, and my wife appreciated it. And she told me she, she, she appreciated it. You know, another way that I was thinking about this too, I remember doing a, a doing a, um, a podcast with Rolo Tomasi. You guys might want to go watch it. It was a couple, a couple of years ago. Rolo Tomasi, he wrote The Rational Mail. And I, and I asked him, so uh, Rolo, how does, he said that a man shows his, shows uh, love for his woman through his provisions, you know, taking care of her and, you know, and, and you know, the things that men do. Right? He was just talking about the way a man loves. Man loves idealistically, he was saying also, you know, put, we put women on a pedestal. It's just kind of what we do. Uh, he was describing the way a man loves. And I asked him, so what is it, you know, how does a woman show her love? And he said to me in that interview, he said, uh, with sex, he says, a woman shows her love by giving sex. And of course, I accepted that answer at first because I really didn't know. I was just was like, hmm, wow, that's interesting. But over time, I began to analyze that conversation and 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 look at that a little differently and i don't think a woman show in my opinion here i think it's more expansive than just sex i don't think a woman shows her love or her appreciation just by sex i think it's through submission i think when a woman yields her her lust for power over a man that's her way of showing submission and submission is a form of appreciation it's a way of saying i trust you I believe in you. I'm willing to follow your lead. So sex is kind of the same thing. Sex, when, when we have sex, as, as you could argue with this all you want, but there is a, there's an assertion and there's a submission. The man asserts and the woman submits. That's the way it always looks. In this world where women, you know, treat their clits like dicks and they think that they're, you know, they, they're going to get theirs, which is totally backwards. Uh, but, you know, we live in a perverted world. Uh, women are trying to go get theirs, but generally speaking, just look at the just look at the sex organs to understand. A woman softens and opens her body. That's a submissive act. That's a yielding act. A man hardens up and 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 moves towards. That's an aggressive act. So the man is when he shows his love, it's an aggressive love. It's a and to aggress is the opposite of regress, right? When you think about egre, regress, what is it? It's to move away. But to aggress is to move forward. So a man shows his love this way, right? He, he perks up and moves. A woman shows her love by opening up, softening up, and yielding. She falls back. He moves forward. So in, in the love act, you can see the, the way it would look you know, outside of the bedroom. It's a man that loves, actively loves, but a woman who shows her appreciation, shows her love, yields to that yields to her man's strength that's another way that i would uh you know look for appreciation in your wife she might not be saying i appreciate you but if she submits to you she's showing you well i love you i respect you and i'm appreciating you right if she's always trying to one up you, she's always trying to, you know, take control or she she doesn't trust you. She won't, won't submit to you. She's showing a lack of appreciation for you as a man. Right. That's just the way I would see it. So just to come full circle, um, you know, I wouldn't set myself up with hard expectations if I didn't give explicit. Explicit. If I wasn't explicit about the fact of what I want, because that's a matter of having covert uh, contracts. It's a matter of, of, of thinking that they should know what you want, right? And like I said, that's the thing that women do, right? They th you supposed to know what I want, <laughs> right? Men, we can't act like that. We have to be straight up. We got to be, uh, we got to verbalize, say, hey, you know, I really like it when you do that, right? Right? This is important throughout your entire uh, relationship with your woman. A woman needs to be praised. Um, it's even in the Bible. You have to, you have to, you have to praise your woman for the, for, for good behavior, right? And when I say good behavior, it's for the things that you, that bring value to your life. You have to let her know constantly, Hey, I appreciate you doing that. I appreciate like my wife brings it. She brings me the plate, right? My wife doesn't just cook. She'll prepare my plate and she bring it and she puts it in front of me. And you know, I'll oftentimes, you know, I'm a simp for my wife. I am. <laughs> Gotta admit and sometimes I just look up to her, I'll look in her eyes and I'll just say, I love you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Right. And she, she knows. And it makes her want to do it more. 
It makes her want to do it more. The more I thank her for doing the things that she does, the more she wants to do it. And it goes the other way around too. The more she thanks me, the more she shows appreciation for me, the more I want to do the things that she appreciates because it feels good to be acknowledged. So I hope that helps, man. Those are my thoughts on that. When it comes to the children, definitely have no expectation, right? Definitely don't have no expectation. They're not going to appreciate. They just will not appreciate. My kids don't appreciate. They won't appreciate until they have their own kids because I didn't appreciate my parents until I had my own kids. Then I recognized, oh, man, whew, this is tough, right? So um, but with the wife, just have a conversation with her. Just talk to her about it. Say, hey, I like when you say this to me. I like when you do this for me. Would you be willing to do more of that? Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from the coaching sessions that I have every week with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together for about four or five hours a week. We talk all things related to becoming kings in our lives, in fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you, and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G. Me and my team will get back to the details and see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.